right, as I live and breathe, live in studio, Dave Ramsey, welcome. Oh, it's an honor to finally be in person with well, you, brother. Well, listen, it was uh, it was fun watching the line of people wanting books signed and pictures taken. You know, you're a legit superstar in this town. <laughs> you're struggling for a star around yeah. here. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, let's just before we get into the questions about why you're in town. Um, has it surprised you over the years the number of people that turn to you and then turn up thanking you for the advice that got them financial security? Uh, yes and no. I mean, we no, certainly know there's a lot of people in debt and a lot of people struggling, so it's a huge market. We always laugh and say, "Me and Jenny Craig got a big job." You know, I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do. And uh, then, then on the other hand, when you actually meet the real person who hasn't had a vacation and uh, I think she told me eight years and is getting ready to go on a two-week vacation that works here. Mm -hmm. And I uh, said because they had followed and done the stuff. But she's the hero. I mean, she did the stuff. Lots of people sit on the sidelines and whine and don't do anything. So she and her husband actually did the work. And so um, there's heroes everywhere. Isn't it interesting you make the comparison with losing weight? It's when you see results, the sacrifice becomes much easier. Oh, always. We always have to have feedback. Human beings need to have measurable traction. One of the most frustrating jobs in the world you could have is when you don't know if you're winning or not at your job. You know, it's you know, I always tell leaders when we're teaching leadership, when people don't know what their job is and then they don't know if they're winning or not, it's like taking them bowling and turning out the lights. There's noise, but we don't know if we're winning. That's a great example. So let's talk about the, the Building Wealth, this live event. What exactly does that mean, Building Wealth? Well, uh, what we figured out was earlier last year, or earlier this year, rather, there was a lot of movement. It's kind of calmed down now in the get-rich-quick spaces. And certainly, Bitcoin was moving, and people were, uh, NFTs were out there. Uh, nothing down real estate had made it back again. And, you know, we're going to get rich with no money in real estate, which is a joke. You're going to get broke is what you're going to get. And so we started addressing those kinds of things and said, oh, no, there is a real way to build wealth. It is, happens to be none of those gold rush things. And so, but we've modified that content uh, for tonight and tomorrow night to address really what's going on in the world today at this moment. Uh, a lot of folks are kind of facing the midterms. They're kind of waiting on someone else to fix their life. And we want to destroy that idea because no one else is going to fix your life but you. You're the hero in your story. The, the, the phrase baby step millionaire, it makes it such a practical way for people to really feel as if they're making progress. Well, it is, and, and where that came from was our baby steps. We teach the seven baby steps over and over and over and over and over on the Dave Ramsey Show. If you listen to it for five minutes, you've heard this, you know. And, and so, but what we were discovering is we kept running into these millionaires everywhere, and then we started running into them because I've been doing this for 30 years. And so we started running into folks who go, you know, I followed your baby steps, and that's how I became a millionaire. And so we nicknamed those guys Baby Steps Millionaires. And then we said, okay, people that did not inherit the money, we call those everyday millionaires. And so it's kind of, I just kept hearing all these hope stealers out there, all these guys running around saying you can't do it in America today. America's broken. We have systemic failure, economic oppression, and the little man can't get ahead. Well, bull crap, I'm running into them everywhere that are getting ahead. And that's why we did that book was to show the real statistical facts that it can be done today. All right, so since I have you here, I can't be the only one that's been in this position, but twice in the last dozen years, I've absolutely started over financially. I'm 55 years old. I'm on track, but I also feel like I'm a lot closer to the end than I am at the beginning. How does someone in my position follow the baby steps, or do, do I have enough time to follow the baby steps? It's the only way, and it's the shortest way. Um, and, yes, you've got plenty of time. Uh, we meet people that start at 60 and even 65 and are able to attain a level of wealth. So the typical baby steps millionaire that we studied, out of studying 10,000 millionaires, it took them somewhere around 15 years to become a net worth millionaire. During that time, 10.2 years, they paid off their home. And so getting 100% debt free, so you got a paid for home in Phoenix, that's close to a million in a lot, or over a million in a lot of cases, right? And on top of that, you got your 401k, your Roth IRAs, and that money's building and building and building over 10, 15 years. Pretty quickly, that's going to bump into a million. And so you're going to have a million and a half, $2 million net worth in you know, 15 years, give or take. So, you know, as you hit 70, you'll be there, but you've got, some, you know, you, you got it. No more backstepping, no more debt, no more falling in the hole again. Uh, you know, if you just follow that simple, boring plan, you'll get there. So let's talk, you mentioned the Phoenix real estate market, the Valley, we call it the Valley, but uh, the Metro Phoenix area, seeing a cooling off period. And a lot of people are afraid we're going to see 2008 all over again. 
you're not going to see 2008. I'm 100% sure. I was here in 2008, okay? I was on the air in 2008. I was, Phoenix was one of the markets we were watching. Uh, it took one of the biggest plunges. Las Vegas was even bigger. It was the fastest growing city in America at that time, and it went down the tubes, and it took it, it was one of the longest to recover. But Phoenix did not have uh, a true bubble at that time. It just had, uh, it was overbuilt is all it was. There was a glut in the market. And so when the demand dried up, and there was an oversupply, we saw the market dive. We're not seeing demand drying up, and we're not seeing an oversupply. Quite the opposite. Now, you did see a 33% increase in the valley in, in values in one year. I've been in real estate 40 years. I've never seen that in one year. That's highly unusual and up. Does that mean it's getting ready to come down? No, it's already adjusted down about 5%. So the net by the end of the year is probably going to be, or the end of a two-year period of time, is probably going to be back to normal. You're going to see this market normalize, slow down. It's going to take you a normal amount of time, 60, 90 days to sell a house instead of 60, 90 minutes. And so just calm your butt down. Enjoy a normal real estate market. But is it going to crash? I don't think so. This market's too strong and too diversified. What do you say to the uh, people that are either at, at the lower end of the income uh, ladder and or the people that are saying, you know, I'm barely keeping my head above water. I can't even think about my future and growing wealth. What do you say to them? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to start managing the money in the situation you are right now. And as soon as people do that, and if you listen to the, to the show, the Ramsey Show with the debt-free screams, 95 96% of the debt-free screams increase their income during the time they were getting out of debt because what happened was they sat down they looked at it and they said crap we don't make enough money and so they picked up side hustles some of them changed jobs some of them walked into the boss and said i need a raise but almost every case 96 percent of the debt-free screams increase their income and you can do that but it's not easy i don't want you to work an extra job your whole life but you might do it as a short-term thing to get to the next level and then change jobs. But career is part of the equation. Income's part of the equation. Outgo's part of the equation. So you've got to address that side of it. But, you know, you've got to take care of food, shelter, clothing, transportation, and utilities first and foremost. And uh, when you're standing at the pump and you see those Biden stickers say, I did that, it, it scares the crud out of you. Um, one of the things that I admire about you is you give people hope. You, you, when you say to someone, you can do it, you empower people. I mean, I really believe that about you, that they, when you say to the average person looking at your situation, I'm telling you, you can do it, and people listen. So if, if people want to learn more about the Ramsey Solutions, how can they find out more? Because I think if nothing else, that positive influence helps so many people. I appreciate that. That's our goal. That's the product we sell is hope. But our hope is not based on uh, fantasy or just fluff or motivational talk. It's, hey, here's the actual numbers. You can do this. I'm looking at your situation. You gave me your thing. Yes, you can do this. But I gave you the parameters under which you got to do to do it. So that gives you real hope. But it's based on, it's not just fluff. You can really do it, Mike. I mean, in the, so RamseySolutions.com is where you find all of our stuff. The Ramsey Show here on KTAR every day. Thank you, KTAR. Thank you, Phoenix Valley, for incredible ratings and telling all your friends. We appreciate you. Well, Dave, I appreciate the time today. It's, it's great to meet you in person, and I hope we get to hang out a little bit more sometime. Let's do it, bro. All right, that's Dave Ramsey. He's in town for a two-day event, Building Wealth Live. I'd give you the information, but it's been sold out for a long time. But he get in town, get to the books, get to the website. We'll be back here in a moment.